I was uh, economic advisor to the President of the European Commission, uh, Jose Manuel Barroso, uh, from February 2011 to February 2014. Because I think it's very important that Ireland gets uh, justice for uh, the bank debt that has been imposed on it by uh, its so-called EU partners. Why are you and the Ballyhay Group away to Europe? Well, very simply, we've been invited to go to the European Parliament to make a presentation on our campaign. And I think it's really important that the truth of the Irish bank debt situation is known in Europe because on previous occasions when we've travelled to Europe, we've always found that we've had to start by disabusing the Europeans of this notion that somehow we all partied in Ireland, we brought austerity on ourselves, and there were somehow you know, the, the people that don't want to repay our debts. Instead of which, the truth of the matter is that we have been saddled with a debt which was never ours to begin with. It's an odious debt and it has had huge consequences for the ordinary people in Ireland. Could you tell me why you and Bali here are away to Europe? Yeah, I, I guess it's a continuation of a process. Um, we've um, met with different officials in Europe uh, previously, and um, now we're going and um, making a presentation to the GUI group on their invitation. Um, and uh, secondly, to um, give a pres presentation to an intergroup with a cross party. Um, presentation to all the MEPs. Joan, uh, could you tell me why you and the Ballyhay group are away to Europe? We're away to the Europe. We're away to Europe because the Ballyhay says no has been campaigning for the last number of years against uh, 
the debt that was put around the uh, necks of the Irish people and European people. So, uh, why didn't the Irish government ask for a referendum on the Prince Note? I really have no idea. Perhaps they wouldn't have liked the answer. Why didn't the Irish government ask for a referendum on the Prince Note? Oh yeah, I mean, um, very. Um, it's very current for us to be going there, particularly this, this week. Yeah. Um, yeah, a very interesting approach by the uh, the Greek um, um, parliament um, to, to say, look, this should go to the people. Um, why our government didn't put up any uh, fight or have any real strategy on, on, on this, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's appalling, almost embarrassing that, um, you know, the night of the guarantee was done, um, you know, in urgency, um, overnight, over the course of a couple of hours, um, where you see what the, the Greeks are doing, that they've, they've taken four or five months to assess and put that together and so on and take their time. And can you tell me, uh, why didn't the Irish government uh, ask for a referendum on the promissory note deal? <laughs> why, why has the Irish government done what they've done? Yeah. Um, they, uh, they took the instructions of the, of the Troika, the ECB, um, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and, the, and the European Central Bank, who told them to do what they did. Um, and uh, as a consequence of that, it's like when you tell a lie once, you can't go back on it again, mm -hmm. because it only exposed the lie, and that's what's happening with Greece, where this government, Irish government, will not even have the, the uh, decency, moral decency, to say that the Greek people shouldn't be treated like this. Okay. Um, and it just really it saddens me and makes me very angry. Did the government not ask for debt right down? Well, everywhere we've gone, we've been told that they didn't ask for debt right down. Um, the government themselves has said that they didn't ask for debt right down. When we had our motion in the Dáil uh, on November 27th, two years ago, I think it was now, where with the technical group, we asked the government to ask the ECB for debt right down. They said they wouldn't ask. So I can only really take them at their word and presume that, no, they haven't asked for debt right down. What message do we want to deliver? to the international community, that you can hit us with whatever you like and we'll bend even lower and take it from you. Well, that's not a message that I want to deliver. That's not our commitment. That's not the commitment of the people of Ballyhay. It's not the commitment of the student nurses or the 100,000 young people who are now in Australia or the 400,000 people who are still out of work. It's not the commitment to the secondary school teachers, to the children with special needs, survivors of symphysiotomy and all of the others who've been by this debt deal. Did the government not ask for debt right then? No, apparently not. And I mean, actually, Enda Kenny has gone on record. It's on, I think you'll see it on YouTube, that he, he actually um, has actually uh, boasted that um, we wouldn't take a write down, we would pay our debts. And uh, obviously, you know, that's very centre to what we're about, is that we don't agree um, with that, that the, the debts, a lot of the debts that were taken on um, were um, odious. That, um, there was a lot, there was no fairness involved, and um, you know we're now going after specifically after the promissory notes. <laughs> Why didn't the Irish government ask for debt right then? They weren't going to. They, well, they, they knew it was going to be a battle to get it, mm. um, and they knew that they'd have to broaden their their support as such and go to countries like Italy and Portugal and Spain and, and Greece. And maybe they hadn't got the confidence to get support. Um, uh, but I think they were wrong not to and to keep pushing the issue uh, because it's just not our debt. It's the debt of the banks. Uh, Last question. Are you glad that you made a challenge with the promissory notes? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. We haven't got a date on the Supreme Court yet. They did say it was supposed to be for the summer break. Mm. Um, I haven't heard any different word, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad we did. You know. Oh, yeah. uh, what's the best thing that could happen? Well, I think the best thing that could happen is if the, there's a good turnout for the intergroup meeting in particular and that it actually raises debate. Getting debate and the forum going there on the floor would be excellent. Okay. You know, and having new avenues to go after this and new context, that's what we're about. Okay, see you Thursday night. I'll see you, okay? And I'll see you on Thursday, okay? Take care. Bye.